Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to talk about the mini farm project using the rear terminal. And uh, this is similar to um, farm beets, but it doesn't have the uh, soil temperature uh, sensor. Okay, so uh, I previously looked at um, the rear terminal and um, many of the projects I've done already with it. And just for a, a quick overview, the um, rear terminal is a Raspberry Pi in a um, CM4 uh, factor. And it has a um, five inch capacitive um, touch screen. And um, it's got good comms, just as you would expect with Raspberry Pi. And um, it adds additional function buttons on the box, and you get complete access to the um, GPIOs of Raspberry Pi. So you can add Raspberry Pi um, hats to it. And you can see where you can add those hats. You just um, add them straight into these pins but you do need some additional um, extenders so you can uh, easily fit them in. So uh, my application here is the smart farm. And um, these are the projects I've done already. And uh, we're going to look at um, how I'm using the Grove hat with um, rear terminal. So the MIDI farm is the project we're looking at. And I'll go through the objectives, the hardware, the software I'm using, I'll show you the results, I'll talk about some issues and give you some references. So the objective here is to develop a very simple farm monitor and water management system. And I want the demo to be suitable for STEM education. So the whole project can be done in about 30 minutes, which is uh, quite quick. And it gives plenty of time in a STEM session for um, looking uh, at the briefing at the start and also uh, debriefing at the end. So the hardware I'm using is um, the, the besides rear terminal, we're using a Grove hat for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, I could use the full version rather than for the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, I'm also adding both an expansion box and a solid state drive. And strictly, these aren't really necessary for this project, but I'm doing this as a separate project um, and testing the full compatibility of um, rear terminal with the expansion box and the SSD uh, together with um, the uh, growth hat. So for the Grove devices, I'm using a light sensor. And strictly speaking, this isn't necessary um, because there's already a digital light sensor on a rear terminal. Um, and my software won't actually include it, but I will include it in the uh, hardware configuration. I'm using a soil moisture sensor, which is um, a capacitive um, device. For the pump control, I'm using a Grove Relay. Uh, for air quality, uh, I'm using a Grove air quality sensor. And I'm using the SHT31 for temperature and uh, pressure measurements. I'm using some extras. All the Grove devices are mounted on a um, Grove wrappers, which uh, mounts on the Lego board which is a 16 by 16. And you need some additional headers for the Raspberry Pi, both an angle and a long uh, extender so that you can fit the um, Grove hat comfortably on. Uh, and for software, I'm using Node Red with additional uh, nodes for Grove. And um, all the devices I've been talking about have nodes already for them. So all you have to do is just plug them in and your software is constructed fairly quickly. And um, 
I've also got uh, special nodes for the rear terminal, and I'm going to use the uh, support nodes for the accelerometer and the light sensor. I've got a couple of very small JavaScripts, and these are quite simple. And uh, I've got a user interface to create charts. So here's the program, and uh, we might go and have a quick look at it uh, live. And um, we've got water management. We've got um, uh, the node for collecting the um, temperature and humidity and air quality. And just below that, we're collecting the uh, light sensors and the accelerometer. The accelerometer is not really necessary, but I put it in just to demonstrate that I could get access uh, to that on the rear terminal. And all of that goes to um, the charts using the user interface. And uh, this is what it looks like. The uh, user interface uh, gives me quite a nice um, chart of all the parameters that I'm measuring. And uh, just stay tuned for the references and a small live demo. Now here are the references. You go to Seed Studio. Uh, they support both um, the purchase of Rear Terminal and um, they have a, a wiki that will help you get going. Here we have Mini Farm outside and it's powered by Rear Terminal over here and a number of Grove devices connected to a Grove shield which is um, Raspberry Pi compatible. So it's um, with a high price of vegetables it's time to grow your own and in our vertical garden the uh, mini farm is providing vegetables for the family. So on mini farm we have a light digital light sensor on rear terminal and it's been used with Grove modules so we have a, a relay for the pump and that provides um, water uh, we have an air quality meter and a sensor and we have a SHT31 temperature and humidity sensor and we have an analog light so we've actually got two um, light sensors the one in the uh, rear terminal is digital and uh, this one is analog and in addition we have a soil moisture which is uh, in the soil here and it's using a capacitive soil moisture sensor